Hey everybody, my name is Thiago. I'm here with Dr. Feiner, a psychiatrist who's also the leader, facilitator for our CBL group um, for the next couple of CBL sessions. He's graciously agreed to give med students some advice that we can apply in our lives throughout our journey. So tell me or tell them what you told me before. Okay. Thank you, Thiago. A great, great uh, project. Thank you. Well, I, I'm looking at my um, <clears throat> experience as a physician from sort of the end, end of career, right? I mean, I, I'm 72. Should I look at you? You can look at me. Yeah. Okay, I'm 72. I, I actually started a little late. I, I have a PhD. So I didn't wasn't in medical school till I was thirty three, okay. but I still had many decades of practice. Um, and uh, as Chiago said, I'm a psychiatrist. Uh, it's amazing how everything, all the knowledge comes together, mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> I can understand pretty much any any air, even though I've specialized in psychiatry. I can understand any illness thrown at me because right. I've got all the pieces. Yeah. You know, I pick them up and somehow they've all come together and integrated. So as I was telling you before, make the effort to understand in and of itself everything they give you. Yeah. Okay. And, and bearing in mind that you'll often be given the same information several times yeah. right try to understand it as it comes understand it as opposed to integrating it and then gradually it will all fit together like for example i remember in medical school early, fairly early on they introduced us to lab results mm -hmm. like in fact we did this today in the lecture in in, in the group and that, you know, you, you get a lab result and they're immediately talking about the significance of the lab result and you have no idea, yeah. you know, what, you've never been taught anything about that. Exactly. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You will, all the pieces will come together. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, I think... Being a doctor is, you know, one of the few professions when when that that's true. When when you kind of learn as you go, learn. There's it's lifelong learning mm -hmm. and lifelong integration of what you've learned. Yeah. You have the opportunity to do that. Yeah, it's a really awesome privilege. Um, would you do it again if you had to? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I. I, and I would steer any smart, you have to be smart to be a doctor, like no, no mistake about it. Um, I, I, now I teach undergrads right. um, in various courses and anytime I see someone who is interested in medical school who I think is smart, mm -hmm. I will help them as much as I can. Awesome. Oh yeah. One, you know, it opens Having your MD opens doors like nothing else. Yeah. Like nothing else. Oh, it's a wonderful profession. Okay, cool. Um, now, you're going to be our facilitator for next three sessions, right? The, uh, the next, well, four actually. Two four. more weeks. Two per week. Okay. Two yeah. more weeks. All right, guys. So, if you have any questions for Dr. Feiner, um, comment down below let me know and i can ask them during the next two weeks yeah and hopefully we can answer your questions right